Welcome to Dr. Sonar Training. Another session on understanding sonar. I run multiple screens so I can have a full screen side scan. I found that I can interpret it better if you have it running all the time because you're, you're just looking at it more often and you learn how to read it. I found a few fish on this screenshot. The big one with the shadow and the green circle, that's really obvious. The top right black circle has three possible fish showing as white dots. The lower left also has likely fish. The red circle in the upper left is fish. Three of these fish are producing shadows. So when I see fish like this, I'll place waypoints on them and by moving the cursor over to the fish so it's directly on them, create a waypoint. Then I drive over to the fish and look at them with my 2D sonar which showed some really nice fish. My down imaging sonar also showed some really nice fish. So I started fishing with a minnow and failed. Never had a bite. Minnow was kicking a lot because they kick when there's fish around them. I don't, don't think they can tell the difference between somebody's going to eat them and somebody isn't. My aqua view, <clears throat> I dropped and saw a bunch of carp. So I thought, well, I'm done. Looks like I found a school of carp. And then Northern Pike showed up. He's following my minnow. The Northern turned to a new fish, and then a smallmouth bass showed up. The Northern Pike chased those fish away, and then he kept following my minnow, and I thought, bingo, I'm going to get something. Never got a bite. Fish for a while after that, because I like catching Northerns and smallmouth. Never got a bite, and at least I was in the right location. Fish don't always cooperate, but I still believe the same thing. Go fishing, the clock is ticking. There's not enough time.